we are extraordinarily blessed to have these two scientists already in the center, already doing their work with patients at Eskenazi here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Dr. Bustani is an incredible human being. He has a vision to change the world, and he will do whatever it takes to get there. He is both a, a scientist and, in a sense, an engineer. So he thinks about the application of new diagnostic techniques or new treatments and how they'll be brought to the bedside uh, in a way that most scientists uh, don't. We can improve the quality of your life as a person suffering from Alzheimer's disease. We can reduce the burden of the symptoms of your disease. We can even take care of your family members. And we can do that with high touch, low tech. We don't do it with very expensive drug. We don't do it with a very dangerous procedure. We can do it with a bunch of psychosocial intervention and coaching and problem solving. They look at me as being a patient as well as my mother. That always touched me and I felt like I was included in it and that somebody actually cared about the journey that I was going on. I felt like we hit the jackpot. There's a physician, there's a pharmacist, there's a nurse, there's a social worker. All of these people working on my mother's case all at the same time. There was a vulnerable couple, a daughter and, uh, and, and her mom. She was coming over to simply for us to stamp that her mom has Alzheimer's disease and sign the paperwork so we can send her, uh, her mom to a nursing home. That was 2008. Now it's 2015. They live in their own home. The Center for Brain Care Innovation will be able to provide that bundle wherever you are, wherever you live, in the United States and even outside. Dr. Breyer is doing things that are so meaningful. His work with early detection of schizophrenia is saving lives every single day. With a cohort of more than 400 patients since 2009, zero attempted suicides in dealing with a disease that often claims double-digit uh, early mortality as a result of self-inflicted uh, decisions. When you're a, in the midst of going through something you don't understand, you need someone with a great deal of compassion, with a great deal of care, and with a great deal of information to help you. And when uh, our son was moving into a psychotic um, uh, stage, we knew the person we needed to talk to. Schizophrenia is an illness that starts early in life, and it robs you of the very things that make us fully productive human beings. So it's efforts like CBCI that are putting schizophrenia in its crosshairs and saying, no more. We are going to go after this illness. We're going to be there for families and patients, and we're gonna make a huge difference. Dr. Breyer is one of a handful of people around the country who are now developing practical approaches to help young people get care that is acceptable to them early, uh, quickly, and avoid the slide into uh, a lifetime of uh, disability. The center wants to focus at that earliest point in time. That's where we can make the biggest difference. And that, I think, is what's so fundamentally important and unique about what we're doing in the center. They talk to you, they know how you feel, they take their pride and patience. It's really helped me out a lot. One of the things I'm excited about the center is that it's focused on the science of delivery of care, and that is desperately, desperately needed right now. It's a heartland approach to these problems. It integrates um, uh, discovery and, uh, and care. Uh, it integrates uh, brain care with the rest of medical care. It does it within an integrated delivery uh, system that has had extraordinary leadership and results uh, over the years. Uh, and it is going to be a remarkable breakthrough. The most exciting things about developing the Center for Brain Care Innovation is putting together this multidisciplinary group of amazing people, uh, both clinically and also who um, have different research backgrounds. We are bringing in people who have expertise in informatics. We have people who have expertise in engineering, who understand processes and flows to be able to make sure that we're as efficient as we can be. What we have to do in this program is we have to marry that human touch, which we know we're going to need, with the technology that allows those humans to reach a lot more people. If you have access to the highway of information technology in the 21st century, we will be able 
to provide you decision support to make sure you are informed when you make decisions related to your brain health, wherever you are, at, at your convenience time. We want to find those things that we can have you talk to an avatar who is going to give you the answer that you need the same way that you can find out where the nearest Italian restaurant is. The Eskenazi Health System is the absolute right place. And the reason is we've been risk takers and innovators. The patients are waiting, the caregivers are waiting, uh, and the technology is available. We are hoping for cures that we don't have yet, but until we have that answer, we need to make sure that we're providing the best clinical care and, and clinical services that we possibly can. It's billions of dollars being spent on the symptoms when we can spend fewer dollars on the treatment and the patient can live a ha happy, productive life. Throughout the operation, nobody sees this as a job. It's, it's not just a job, it's a mission. The Center for Brain Care Innovation is a platform that's going to make a difference. Our vision of the Center for Brain Care is very precise and short. Transforming brain health for all now.